My name's Alone, and welcome to a video that I'm recording just after I woke up. So that is why my voice sounds very strange right now. But the Rex Matriarchs, the new kind of Dagonoth Kings but higher difficulty boss, was just released. And I'm going to try it out on my main account. And this is the gear I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the War Priest uh, hybrid gear with the helm, chest, and legs. Because that's all you need to get the 3 set bonus to get some chance to get 90% damage reduction. As well as my hybrid death touch bracelet, ring and amulet of souls. These items are very good because they are just overall high stat sticks for hybrid gear. And this is a boss you need to use all the different styles on just like the Dagonoth Kings. So I'm also bringing a noxious staff with fire spells because it is weak to fire. And I have the wrong spells so I have to go and get that. Well, now that I have the right spell book at least, right here on the fire spells, uh, I want to show you guys the path you have to take to get your first kill, because when you do get your first kill, you can actually go to your worst retreat area and just teleport here right away anyways, like normally, but you have to teleport to Anachronia, run up here and all this way and down here, and when you're at the location I am at, you just click on the teleportation device, you will get to another area of the game, and you can go down here and the bosses are right down here in a teleport location. I will show you guys by just surging here I guess. So you guys can see it's like a QBD you know. You walk down here and you start a session. So that's where the bosses is. So when you enter a session you get into a safe room which is very nice. You don't instantly have to go into the boss. If you just want to look at them and see what they're weak to and all that. You can do that in this room. And this one is weak to fire. This one I don't know and this one I don't know. So I'm going to see if I can go in and go like all the way to the right here and only kill one of them like you can do with the Dagon of Kings. That might be very possible. Let's see if it is. If, uh, I can just run right now to the side and see what this is weak to. It is weak to ranged. All right. So let's just start attacking it right away and see if uh, I'm supposed to be praying magic. Yes, it seems like I'm be going to be praying magic. Have to get my potions up and let's see how hard this is going to be. So the mechanics on this first boss is actually pretty easy. When you see these electric lines, when they're about to go into the boss you have to pray ranged because it throws a ranged attack out straight away after. When you get this bar below your HP or your adrenaline, you have to move as soon as it goes to zero because it will spawn a huge electricity thing as you can see right here and overcharge. So you just have to avoid electricity basically the whole fight and you're going to be fine. Again, it goes towards the boss, pray ranged, because it throws out a ranged attack, and then just keep praying magic, and this is literally the whole boss. But there's, I mean, there's a lot of things that you have to do, it's very frequent, these things happen, so I can't even imagine doing all of the bosses at the same time, because if they all have mechanics like these that you have to avoid continuously, it is probably pretty hard to kill them all at the same time, so I would uh, assume that you're going to be killing these one by one, regardless. Let's see what the first kill of the uh, boss is going to give us. Hopefully something nice. 87,000 experience. What was that? Mostly ranged? I guess it was. Uh, but let's see what we get. We get uh, damaged dinosaur hide. That's a 144k drop. Interesting. Let's see what uh, all these items are going to be. How many toad flags did I get from this? I got 12. Okay, so not a massive amount. So I'm guessing that the... Damaged dinosaur hides are worth quite a lot. Are they not tradable even? Are the dinosaur bones the most valuable things? Very interesting. So I'm killing the melee one now with magic and it doesn't seem to be doing that much but it had one ability that was really scary that froze me basically and hit half my HP. Like this ability right here is really tame. It really does nothing and sometimes it spawns these and you just have to not be in them. But the frozen attack seems to be the interesting one. It hit me like 4.6k four, 4 I think, like really hard, and then made my attack speed and movement speed super slow. So, okay, that hit pretty hard, I guess. You can't be close to these uh, small things on the ground whenever he does the tail sp uh, smack. So, um, but yeah, this I mean, they're pretty easy, these bosses. If you have really good gear, you can kind of just fail most of the things and still be killing them. And uh, th this one, okay, this is interesting, 4.8k hit. Wow, I wonder how you avoid that actually. Uh, I guess you can maybe devotion it with magic, but you still get the debuff. So I'm not sure how you avoid it, but uh, 
I guess I can try a couple of different things uh, later down the video. So let's see what the drop from the melee guy is going to be. Hopefully something nice. Please a heart. Ooh, same drop basically as the last one. Let's see what the ranged guy does. This is his uh, special attack. I, uh, okay, that is just a pure move out of this ability. So uh, I, I guess it poisons you as well. Oh, that's a charge. Okay, so a charge and a AoE ability on the ground. I think that is all the boss does because it seems like the bosses have like two or three abilities at maximum. So uh, that doesn't seem too bad. I guess this poison isn't actually a poison or maybe I'm just poison immune, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, so I guess when he goes up with his head, you just have to dodge the uh, poison that comes on the ground and the charge I didn't even get enough time to see. Well, he healed himself to full? He absorbs the venom? Uh, okay. That's kind of interesting. How am I supposed to avoid that? Guess I'll have to uh, figure it out. So now uh, with an anti-poison I take way less damage. Your anti-poison absorbs some of the acidic venom. Yeah, so this is definitely what you have to do. If you don't have an anti-poison when killing this boss, it is going to be really really difficult you're going to take so much damage and the second ability that he does is going to be probably very soon here so i'm going to just put on resonance and uh, he should be charging oh he still healed twenty eight thousand. even if i uh, absorbed most of the pulls that's interesting i guess it's uh, manageable but i should probably absorb all of the pulls uh, if that's the case if it still absorbs some damage Okay, I don't think I can absorb much more now. I got... I missed a bit, but yeah, 3k. Okay, that is way better. So I should just absorb, or you should just absorb as much of the pulls as you can. And the drop for the ranged one. Let's see what we're going to get this time. Maybe something good. Hopefully. We get the same things basically every single time. I guess these uh, damage to dinosaur hides and the dragon bones is just a normal drop. Or the dinosaur bones, rather. And... Uh, yeah, we got five super ranging potions, but now that I've killed all of them and they don't seem that bad I mean it wasn't that bad to kill all of them and uh, they have pretty simple mechanics So if you want to kill these ever you should definitely be able to do it without too much trouble They have pretty high HP though with 190 So it takes a while to kill them if you're not super geared like if you're using like tier 75s or something Then of course it's going to take a bit of time to kill them from my personal opinion, I think that the easiest one is probably the maging one because you can avoid easily all the damage that you take from it pretty much by just like one prayer flick and then not standing and stuff. I think that's pretty easy and you can also use the use ranged on it which is, you know, if you have dual ascension crossbows, you can just demolish this boss. I'm not sure which one or which of the rare drops each one of these drop, watch uh, ring attachments. But I feel like I've heard that the mage one or the uh, the one that you use ranged on the far right here is the one that drops the best one. So I think a lot of people might just sit and camp this. I'm going to do that now for a bit and see what I can get from a couple of kills. Actually, there is a portal that's already up here for the Rex Matriarchs. Just in case you know, I think you might not even have to run to the area in the first place. Actually going to be killing both the ranged one and the magic one, I think those are the bosses I'm most comfortable with and I understand the mechanics the most. But before I actually get into killing more of these, I want to say that these bosses do interact with each other and what that means is that the venom pulls that Arathis is going to put on the ground, you can actually take another dinosaur and pull it into the pole and that drake or dinosaur will take the damage from that ability so if you pull all of them together and you're really really good at avoiding the abilities meanwhile making the dinosaurs walk into the enemy's abilities they will actually take a lot of damage from that and make the fight a lot easier and you can kill these three at the same time way more effectively but it is probably very difficult to do that very good so i'm not going to do that in this video this is just going to be me going and killing the bosses separately Oh my god, I got a Heart of the Berserker. Uh, that is one of the rare drops, actually. Uh, I guess you can actually trade this. 1.3 million. Wow, that was... <laughs> okay, uh, can I type in and see all the uh, matriarchs? We killed six Rex matriarchs. Okay, uh, ooh, let's go to the uh, Grand Exchange and put this in right away and see what it sells for. This is very interesting. Okay, I put it in for 20 million and it sold instantly. 
That is insane. I've already made more than 20 million from six Rick's Matriarch skills. Okay, uh, wow. Let's see what I actually made from this. 35 mil from one drop of the six skills. I mean, that is insane. I know I'm changing my mind a lot, but I actually want to try to kill the ranged one, but with full max melee gear, or almost max melee gear, I'm going to be using Malevolent. And uh, I want to see if I can actually just take way less damage compared to using the hybrid gear, as I'm only killing one at a time. There's really no point of having hybrid gear, so I'm going to try out this method instead, and see if it makes a big difference. Had to use basically two pieces of food with this setup, and the kill was a bit faster as well. So definitely not a bad way to kill the boss. If you're only going to be killing one boss, just bring the best gear for that specific style that you have. So for the last thing I want to do for the video is I want to do a full trip and see how many kills I can get of each boss. And for the ranged one, I did now a full trip and you can see all the loot that I got in the inventory. I got a total of, let's see, I started with 6kc and in one single trip with the melee gear I got... Up to 18 so that is 12 kills in one trip but let's see how many kills i can do in one trip on the mage one okay so the melee one that's weak to magic is way more difficult in my opinion than the other two because it has a frostbite ability that you saw before that is really i don't know if you can even avoid it it doesn't seem like you can i've tried surging out of it but nothing happens and i've tried to root it in place and then run away from it i still get hit by it and uh, you can remove the frostbite as you see in the chat the heat snaps you out of the frostbite you get an adrenaline rush and that is when you stand in the fire things that come up meanwhile you're killing the boss so actually i'm not going to kill it this time because i don't have any food but i just want to show you guys what i'm talking about so when the magic hit comes i'm just going to pray magic and tank it because i feel like that's the only thing you can really do and you just take so much damage meanwhile killing this boss that the trips are just going to be way shorter so here's the magic and now i just pray melee again i get super slow attacks you can see that i'm basically not being able to attack for a very long time basically and here we go so this thing these things if i walk into them they're going to remove my frostbite okay i didn't even have enough time to do it there but meanwhile you're standing in them you also take a lot of damage so this boss just makes you take a lot of damage so i feel like this is way more difficult than the other two meanwhile you can avoid the other mechanics on the other two it is most likely possible that you can do something to avoid most of the damage on this and still be fine but i just haven't figured it out yet I did actually manage to get the kill by the way, uh, even without food, so I guess you can avoid some damage if you're pretty lucky. I just didn't really get any hits on me, which is pretty lucky. But uh, that was only 4 kills, and I had to use all my food. And as I said, I'm sure there is ways you can avoid the damage that I just don't know about yet. But um, the other bosses are a lot more straightforward to understand than this one. I'm thoroughly surprised about the result, and I'm going to name the bosses by what style I used to kill them. So this one is going to be magic, this one ranged, and this one melee. I got 4 kills on the ranged one in one trip. So I'm really surprised about the result. The first time I killed them and just learned the tactics, this one seemed to be the most telegraphed one and easy to avoid. And therefore I thought that this one is going to be the easiest to do for a long time. But what I didn't think about is how hard the consistent hits are. I would say that the one I kill with the ranged far to the right is hitting the most consistently hard. Because they hit like 700 and 800 every single hit. Even if you avoid everything, the damage you take is consistently high. The magic one is not hitting that hard, but it has the ability that freezes you that really hits hard. Like 4.6k if you don't pray against it. Doesn't seem like you can avoid it, at least from this first attempt. And um, then you can get hit for a massive amount if you stand in the wrong areas meanwhile fighting it, which drains a lot of food. The ranged one really is the easiest by far, in my opinion, because you can really avoid most of the damage by having an anti-poison. If you have an anti-poison, you stand in the poison pools and you avoid the charge. The auto hits from this boss is also pretty weak compared to the other ones. So you can stay there for a very long time. If you have a vampirism aura and you're soul splitting, you can pretty much out heal the boss. So you can stay there for a very long time as long as, long as you have supplies. So I would say if you're going to go here for the first time, 
learn this boss first and then you can learn the far to the right one because it's it's really just telegraphed abilities you don't really get one shot that easily and lastly learn the middle one because this one can one shot you for sure so before I end the video, I want to go over the loot. Of course, I got super lucky and got that 35 million drop, the Berserker Heart. Which, obviously, I don't think you can expect from this low KC. I would assume it has maybe a drop rate equal to the rings from Dagonoth King. So like 1 in 100, roughly, I would say. Maybe a bit more common, because I think you need more of them to make the uh, upgraded rings. But um, these dinosaur hides, you can't actually trade, but you can alk them for 5k each. So I guess this is like 700 or 800k in Alex, and the rest of the drops are 3.2 million and this didn't really take that long at all. I'm uh, guessing most of the money comes from these items right here. I guess the dinosaur bones are actually not that low as well. I guess most of the drops are pretty decent valued actually. So I would say that for com uh, continuous money, consistent money. This is not that bad, it is a pretty fun boss as well, and I'm sure you can make a lot of money if you can learn how to pull all of them or even two at a time. You can probably make a lot of money per hour currently, especially with the items being so high value at the beginning of the update. But um, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys learned something about the new boss. I certainly did. I still have a lot to learn though, and if you guys know any additional information about the bosses, Please comment that below because both me and other people that are watching this might actually want that information and have some use for it. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you like my content. Like the video if you like the video. Take care.